Okay. So we are back in the ferry. Yep. Back in the ferry. Hold. Huh. Okay, he says he says go inside. I'm blocking the way. Let them go in. The cars. In front of us, Dibat. To the left, the Arabian Sea. Actually, the Mandovi River heading out into the Arabian Sea. To the right, Mandovi River heading into Goa. So, the ferry is about to go. So this ferry is called Dar Bandora, Dar Bandora. So they have, uh, they, they have names. So there's a Sardarji joke, where the Sardar is waiting at Beti for a ferry, and the first ferry comes and goes, and the second comes and goes, and the third comes and goes, and the twentieth comes and goes, and then some, someone on the ferry, one of the staff like these guys, is upset. And ask him what happened, what happened? Why are you not taking a ferry? He says no. I've seen Terracol, I've seen Ravana, I've seen Sangye, I've seen Kumbadjua, but I'm waiting for Panjim or Panaji to come. And it has not yet come. Okay. So the names have nothing to do with the destinations. They're just names of uh, mostly rivers and places in Goa that uh, after whom the ferry is named, after which the ferry is named. These are uh, mangroves, mangroves, riverside mangroves. Reminded me very much of a picture of Brazil, which I saw in my younger days. A lot of riverside mangroves. In the past, the value was not known, so they were destroyed, damaged, cut up, whatever. And then in the 80s, they tried replanting them, but they grow very slowly. It's not so easy. Not so, not so easy a thing to do. So this is a, a ferry they don't have as yet but they are planning to have roll-in, roll roll-out ferries, row ferries. So you come in from one side and go out on the other side, it's faster. Here you have to turn and you know, turn your vehicle. If you are a two-wheeler or if you are a four-wheeler you will have to reverse your vehicle while going up. They will all have to reverse. As I was saying in the morning, there is no charge to cross the ferry. Not for two wheelers, not for four wheelers, not for passengers. The taxpayer pays the charges in the sense that uh, the government has a river navigation department which uh, is funded by taxes. So if you are actually travelling, you don't have to pay. It's a nice ride, very short ride. In the morning when we were coming, there were three ferries in operation now because it is, uh, I guess it's not peak hour, so the two are enough, one coming and the other one going, between Divar and Old Goa. Earlier in the old days, uh, instead of one big ramp to take a car, they used to have two small, two small uh, planks on which just the tyres of the car fit, fitted and uh, it was quite a tricky thing to get on and get off. Now it's become a bit easier. Okay, old Goa. The, if I'm not mistaken, some illegal houses and the conservation areas linked to politicians and all that in these areas. Very sad. Oops, we are waiting for a drizzle. I better close.